Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be going over TACAN in the A10. So the TACAN is these little stations here, these weird symbols on the map you can see right here. Um, a lot of maps in DCS have these TACAN stations all over the map. For example, on Nevada you can see a bunch of them on the bottom of the map here. Also, a lot of airports have TACAN stations. If you zoom in, you can see the TACAN here. And also, if you click on the airport, you can see it here. Now, every TACAN station will have a number and a letter. Um, for example, this one, the TACAN, you can see the number is 116, and the letter is X. And the letter will always be X or Y. So this is the most important thing. You need to know this number and letter so we can plug it into our airplane. There might be some TACAN stations that don't show the letter. For example, this one over here doesn't show. It just says channel 114. So if it, do if it doesn't show the letter, just, as just assume it's letter X. So first, let's go to this TACAN station at McCarran Airport. It's 116X. So you're going to go to the right side of your plane, and there's going to be a panel here. So you can use your mouse scroll wheel to change the number. So I'm going to bring it to 116. And then you can use this switch to put up the volume. And this power switch here, make sure it is on transmit receive. If you have it on receive, you will not get any range information. You'll just get the direction. On transmit receive, you'll get the range and the direction. Now the last thing you need to do is by default, you won't hear any sound. And that's because you need to come over to this panel on the left and right click this tack end switch to pull it up and then you'll start hearing sound. There's the sound. Now I'm gonna turn it off so it doesn't get annoying. Okay, so now you're gonna come to your compass here and you need to make sure this button here, tack end, is selected. And this pointer number one, the skinny pointer here, will point to the tack end station. So I'm gonna hide my stick so it's easier to see and turn off the autopilot. And I'm gonna go ahead and fly over to that tack end station. Now, on your compass here on the left, it will show you how far you are, so I'm about 12 miles away right now. And while we're flying there, I forgot to mention that if you need to change the letter from X to Y, you left and right click on this switch here. Alright, so right now I'm heading over to bearing number 1. You can see you're about 9 miles away, and it looks like we are heading toward McCarran Airport. Alright, so according to our range meter, we should be pretty close to McCarran Airport. It should be right in front of us, and there it is, right there. So now I'll demonstrate flying to a non-airport beacon. So you can see there's a beacon right here, channel 114. There's no letter, so I'm just going to assume it's X. So let's go over here and type in 114. And you can see now bearing number 1 is pointing off to the right. So let's go to the right. Alright, as you can see, the TAC end station should be right in front of us. And if I go to the map, you can see it is right in front of us. Alright, so the last thing I'm going to show you is how to connect to the TACAN station on a big refueling plane. So you can see I have a big KC-135 here, um, and I activated a TACAN station on it in the mission editor. Now keep in mind, in DCS, by default, there's no way to see what the TACAN station is on these big jets. The only way you can know is if you made the mission. So most multiplayer mission creators will put the TACAN station in the briefing, but it's not there by default. They have to write it there. Now, I made this mission, so I know what the station is. It's 23Y. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in to 23Y. And the only difference with airplanes is that you have to put it in air-to-air -air mode. Now, there's air-to-air -air receive and transmit receive. It's the same thing as the ground modes. Receive will only give you the direction, and transmit receive will give you the direction and the distance. So if I come to my compass now and I have TACAN selected, uh, it might take a second to set up. Okay, there we go. You can see that arrow number one is pointing slightly to the right, and you can see that tanker over there is slightly, slightly to the right. Now, the transmit receive mode for air to air is, is supposed to give you the distance too, but in my experience, it doesn't work for some reason. I'm not sure why. But at least we can get the direction, um, which can help you find air-to-air -air refueling planes. Thanks for checking out this video, guys, and I'll see you later.